Holy hell, the Pope is on a roll. Did you read his Centenimus Annus? It's this extremely long report that he gave, and it was all about the economy and inequality and what the Pope thinks about the current state of capitalism uh, globally. And it was just amazing. I mean, if you were impressed with what he was saying about, you know, about homosexuality and tolerance and those sorts of things, you're going to love what he says about inequality and about the economy. So I love it. Granted, I'm an atheist. I don't know if that counts for anything, but one person didn't like it. It was Fox Business's Stuart Varney, who went on a little bit of a rant against the Pope. Let's watch. I disagree with His Holiness in two ways. First and foremost, capitalism, in my opinion, is a liberator. The free choice of millions of people is the essence of freedom. In my opinion, society benefits most when people are free to pursue their own self-interest. I know that sounds like a contradiction, but it's not. When individuals are free, we collectively are better off in every way, financially and spiritually. Pope Jean-Paul understood that. He had experienced firsthand the horrors of a real dictatorship. And we in America are beginning to understand the problems that come when government sticks its fist into the marketplace. That's point one. Markets work well for everyone. Second, I personally do not want my spiritual life mixed up with my political life. I go to church to save my soul. It's got nothing to do with my vote. Pope Francis has linked the two. He's offered direct criticism of a specific political system. He's characterized negatively that system. I think he wants to influence my politics. Now look, I think Pope Francis is a wonderful man. He lives simply without extravagance. His life is an example to us all. So this Episcopalian is not critical of the man. I simply wish to keep politics out of the pulpit. Now, I don't think that I'm exaggerating when I say that this is one of my favorite videos that I've seen in probably months. Stuart Varney, how could you possibly have done that and not have been intending some sort of weird parody of the normal conservative position? Now, understand going into my criticism of Stuart Varney that he is an individual. He doesn't need to agree with everything that all of the conservatives on Fox Business say, let alone Fox News. But that was just amazing in so many ways. So I'm going to run down the different ways that I think it was crazy. First of all, he says, no, capitalism isn't a bad thing that leaves some people behind and that harms some people. It's a liberal liberator. And that's the amazing thing about the conservative view of the economy. You're either capitalist or you're Marxist. There's no room in between. And both of those descriptions are absolutely ridiculous because we have not had pure versions of either one. A pure capitalist economy would be absolutely abhorrent. It would be anarchy. And pure Marxism would be horrible as well. We've never seen that either. I don't think that we should. Every economy around the world around throughout history has been some combination of the two a combination of different government regulations and different freedoms, and that's what our economy is now. That's what it was 50 years ago. Now, the balance shifts from time to time, but it's not like you either have a liberator or a dictatorship when it comes to the economy. So Stuart Varney, who's supposed to be an, an expert on the economy, has a very simplistic view of how it operates. So that all-or-nothing view of capitalism, that bothered me. Now, what I love is he had to attack uh, Obama in criticizing the Pope there, saying that now the fist of the government is getting involved in our economy. Now it's getting involved in our economy. Like, have you seen how many different ways that we've deregulated, not just the banks, which are perhaps the worst offenders, but energy companies and things like that over the course of the past 15 to 20 years? Okay, the government is getting involved now. Do you have any idea what the top marginal tax rate was 30, 40 years ago? It was over 90% for a period of time. And that's when apparently Stuart Varney thought that the U.S. economy was a great liberator, going around the globe and helping people, lifting them up into a better life. When we had far more regulation over not just the banking industries, but businesses throughout our economy, okay? If the government ever had its fist in the economy, it was after World War II. But that was the time when Stuart Varney, oh, it was just great back then. Now it's a big problem when we started to deregulate. Now, the, the most obvious ridiculous thing there is when he talks about the Pope and him wanting to get involved in politics. He says, uh, I go to church to save my soul. It's got nothing to do with my vote. Pope Francis has linked the two. He has offered direct criticism of a specified political system. Now, I, I'm going to cut you off right there or cut my version of you off right there, Stuart Varney. 
First of all, I have a feeling you don't generally have a problem with religious figures in America criticizing political systems. I personally think that if an Episcopal or an evangelical uh, leader came and attacked a Marxist com a country or what you view as a Marxist country, you'd have no problem whatsoever with that. If they came out and attacked Muslim countries' political systems, you would have no problem whatsoever. So don't pretend that religious leaders attacking specific countries is just, man, that's your pet peeve and you just can't stand it. But he goes on to say, he has characterized negatively that system. I think he wants to influence my politics. Now, I don't follow Stuart Varney day to day. I, I like to maintain my sanity in that way. And so it might be that he generally is opposed to religion and politics, which is totally fine. As I said, he's an individual and he's entitled to his individual belief. But I love the irony there that Fox Business, which you must know, does not have the same exact audience as regular Fox News. It's obviously a much more uh, economically sophisticated, well-off uh, group of people watching Fox Business, they love nothing more than when it comes time to elections to whip the regular Fox audience into a frenzy about all the various ways that religion is being attacked in America and all the different ways when it comes to homosexuality and abortion and all those sorts of things, how man Christianity needs to be involved in politics. We're a Christian nation after all. That's how we were founded. And now in Fox Business, they don't want they don't want to play that game anymore. When it comes time for the Pope to do what you think a Pope would actually do, stand up for the worst off around the globe. And so I love that all of a sudden it's a big problem for politics to be involved in religion. They never Fox, they never want to involve politics and religion. It's a totally separate thing. They don't they're not into that. They don't play those games. And uh, one particular thing that the Pope wrote, and I to if you have time, go read it, because it's, it's, if Obama would give it as a speech, that would be my dream come true. But the Pope says, Indeed, there is a risk that a radical capitalistic ideology could spread, which refuses even to consider these problems, referring back to the inequality and things like that, in the a priori belief that any attempt to solve them is doomed to failure, and which blindly entrusts their solution to the free development of market forces. Radical capitalistic ideology blindly entrust their solution to the free development of market forces. Now, I wonder why Stuart Varney on Fox Business would have a problem with that particular statement. It seems to me like the Pope is directly referencing the implicit point of Fox Business. Im radical capitalistic ideology, free market all the way that'll solve all of our problems well isn't that convenient that if the pope is in favor of your social pro uh, programs if he can get your conservative base whipped up so that put more republicans in office that's a great thing but when the pope actually cares about the people who your radical capitalist system has left behind along the way all of a sudden the pope needs to mind his own business well that's wonderful and that's totally convenient for your position Stuart varney but don't think that you're going to get away with it without being fact checked at least on this program